Hello friends, this is Ashurad here. In this video, we will continue with increment and decrement operator. And one very important thing uh, about how these operators are uh, used in C++, we have to discuss. So let's begin. Uh, see, uh, I have uh, declared a variable i with value 2 here. And C out, you remember C out? Okay, it is printing some value on screen, of course. But the expression that I have used to print is this. Okay, it says I plus 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 I plus plus. Okay, so overall in this expression, I have used three operators. Okay, first is the post increment, the plus sign usual. Okay and one more post increment so in this expression like what we discussed in the earlier lecture we have to see how many operations are being performed okay so again we have uh, in fact we have four operations are being performed here first is something is being printed of course second is the post increment the addition and the last one is again a post increment so in this type of uh, cases in c++ we have to solve this expression and then whatever value we get here will then be printed so how to solve it we have to follow the rule as we have already discussed in the previous uh, lecture that is you have to place the values here as per whether it is pre increment or post increment so i'm just uh, writing it here the way i'm going to calculate uh, the way i'm going to finalize my value here okay so what value do i put here since it is post increment so i will consider the older value of i which is what 2 in this case so i have put 2 here the plus sign will come as as it is and just before going forward we have to execute this increment here just remember that okay now i will not consider the incremented value 3 here okay but since this operator has to execute has to function anyhow so it will function after placing the older value so this is the whole thing about this lecture okay what is what value you have to consider so i have considered the older value 2 because it was post increment so after placing 2 i will increment i so now i becomes 3 okay now i have put this plus sign as it is this one and now what value do i consider here okay that comes after this plus sign so that again depends whether it is pre or post since it is again a post increment so i will consider the current value of i here and not the incremented value so what is the current value of i it is 3 okay and after placing 3 i will be incremented by 1 again and it becomes 4 so what value this expression or this statement will print on screen the value will be 5 okay just to test this out i have made a c++ program here as you can see uh, don't worry about the rest of the things guys i will explain each and everything later that what are uh, these things okay but just focus on this portion here okay i have written c out and this text will appear on screen along with whatever is calculated here so when i run this program it should give me the result 5 on the output screen so now i am going to run it let's run it now, as you can see it shows the answer is 5 okay so you know now how i am getting the answer 5 let's modify this situation 
now I am going to change it to pre increment in the whole expression fine now how will it be calculated again we have to place the value but this time since it is pre increment operator so it will be incremented value that I have to consider so it will be 3 and of course I has become 3 so there should not be any problem in understanding pre increment I believe this plus sign will come as it is then again what value do I place here the incremented value so I had become 3 okay because of this so now it will become 4 so I becomes 4 and 4 is the value that I have to put here so what value I will get on screen this time 7 let us test it in our program I am going to make changes here just observe plus plus I plus 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 I now when I'm going to run it it should give me the result as 7 let's run it and as you can see I'm getting the result 7 now I'm going to modify the problem further Now I'm going to write it like this i plus 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 i plus i plus 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 i so it's bit complicated because it contains pre increment as well as post increment but the value or the way we have solved uh, it earlier that same approach we have to follow so just observe it carefully what value do I place here the older value and then I will increment so I place 2 which is the older value let me delete this thing fine now this plus sign will come as it is but just before putting this plus sign make sure you have to increment i or you have incremented i so i becomes 3 okay but you will not take 3 here and you know why now after this plus sign I can see a pre increment so I will be incremented by 1 and then I will take the incremented value here so what will it be since I had become 3 and from 3 it will be 4 and 4 is what I have to place here and at the same time I will write the value 4 here just to remember okay now this plus sign will come as it is what value do I place here the older value again which is 4 now before moving further I have to increment it so I now becomes 5 but I will not take 5 here okay I have already taken 4 which was the older value the next plus sign this one comes as it is and what value do I put here it is pre increment so I have to increment the i the value of i first so it becomes 6 now and 6 is what I am going to take here so what is the final value that I am going to take it is 16 okay let us check if it if it works in our program so let me write i plus 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 i plus i plus 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 i so when i run this i should get 16 as the output let's see it's fine it's giving us 16 the output let's make one more change here plus i plus 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 i plus plus okay so i'm going to remove all these things from here and from here now I'm just uh, going to quickly put the values and you just observe I plus plus I am putting the older value 2 but uh, before moving forward I have to increment it so it becomes 3 then this plus sign comes as it is then what value do I consider for this 
it's pre increment so i have to increment i have to increment first so i have incremented and the incremented value i have to take then the next plus sign and it is post increment so i will consider the older value and then i will increment so it becomes 5 okay now the next plus sign this one comes as it is then what value do i consider the pre increment operator so i have to consider the incremented value which will be what 6 okay it becomes 6 then this plus sign comes as it is and then this is post increment so i have to consider the older value which is 6 and before moving forward i have to increment so i becomes 7 plus this plus sign comes as it is and what value do i consider here the value the current value of i which is 7 okay and i believe you are going to get 29 as the value which is going to be printed on screen so uh, let me test this out on our program so i have written it i plus 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 i plus i plus 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 i plus 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 i plus 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 i plus plus so one two three four five six terms i have here and six terms i have here so when i run this program i should get the result 29 as you can see so i hope you have understood uh, the way these operators function in c plus plus there is one particular situation or a peculiar situation rather uh, which you should ignore okay uh, and on which you should not think much and that situation is something like this that uh, uh, let me delete this all if you have a variable i contains a value 2 and one more variable x now if you write the same thing here plus plus i plus i plus plus okay plus 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 i plus i plus 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 i plus plus and uh, it's more or less the same as as what we were doing before with c out with print statement but this time what i am doing is i am going to store this calculation in x and then later i am going to print it so it seems that that uh, nothing uh, no change should be there let us see let's let me write uh, this thing here the same way uh, okay let me remove this and x is equal to okay and after this line i will print the value of x simply so i should get the same result the answer is no it gives me the value 24 which is absolutely wrong of course now this is one situation which you have to keep in mind that in c plus plus or when we are talking about uh, this particular compiler version that i am using right now okay this this particular thing is the way uh, it is working in this uh, program okay it's for this version only and it is a uh, an identity unidentified situation in c plus plus it may vary or it may give you correct result if i use a different uh, version of compiler but uh, this is the uh, weird thing uh, that i observed in c plus plus compiler uh, particularly the version i am using so you guys have to aware of that you don't have to think much of how this is giving you the value 24 okay there is there is no way i have found uh, uh, to to get uh, the logic of it okay it's simply the compiler setting and its configuration so the language designers believe that uh, this type of situation 
comes very rarely in a real program so you just have to ignore it okay so that's it i hope you have understood all the concepts well and if you have any doubt please leave your question in the comment section below so thank you so much for watching do like and subscribe